Hey guys, I'm live. I'm live a few minutes early. I just want everybody to have an opportunity to come in and get settled. I always like to make sure that I'm live because you guys know I can never tell. Hey Chris, so I am live. Okay, yay. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a few things. We're going to hang out. I have a big giveaway today. Hey, Tammy. Good morning. Oh, good. And I'm freezing. My hands are so cold. It's like not cold here, really. It's like supposed to be 74 but today. But the house is on. Hey, Megan. I thought you were at the beach. Oh, you are. You're sitting on the beach. Well, it's supposed to be like 74 here, so it's not necessarily cold, but you know inside the house when you get cold. Okay, yay, so you guys are here. Okay, well, we're going to get started. I want to share some things with you guys, some stuff that's on my desk, and then um, we'll have a slight interruption because Wendy is supposed to be stopping by to pick up some dies and some cards. Our kids get out of school early today. Today and tomorrow and Friday um, are all minimum days because there's teacher conferences and so my kids are going to be home at noon as well but my husband's here he's helping so let's get started and take a look at a few things this is what we're going to be using today to make a card because i'm going to make a card but i want to share a few things with you guys so first i want to share this now this is going to be up on my website um, and just like about an hour but it's on my desk and i thought i would share with you guys since it's sitting here you'll have to tune into the um, blog post and the video to see this really fun technique but I made this one last night during our creative rally and I might turn lights on in just a minute so it's I think it's okay right now this is the one I made last night and if you can see the whole this whole piece is covered in glitter and it was this really fun technique we did we have a creative rally every single month at the beginning of the month and then we have a paper ink joy hangout where we do other fun stuff and we do just like creative things like this and we hang out and we stamp together and make projects and that is when you are part of my team so if you want to purchase the starter kit now is a great time to do that and then you can join in on all of these fun things that we're doing and we're stamping together and hanging out together so this is the one i made last night and Originally, I had had some snowflakes cut out that um, they were like this color glitter. So they were like that iridescent, really pretty glitter. But I just felt like it got really lost on the card. So this morning, I recreated the card for a video for my website. And it was a suggestion last night to maybe try some light blue um snowflakes i kept last night in our hangout i kept calling them star flakes i don't know why it just happened <laughs> so uh i tried the light blue this is pool party and i think it turned out really pretty and i definitely think the light blue ones look really good also maybe gray would have been pretty like if i would have done the gray granite with this um snowflakes that would have been pretty too so i wanted to show you guys that and then last night i also showed everybody this 3d uh snowflake that i had done this is with the brand new snowflakes that are available for demonstrators to pre-order and um the mine didn't come together very good like when i put it together um i don't know i couldn't get it to line up great so I was I just shared with everybody and we were talking about how maybe to get it to line up a little better next time but I thought it would be fun to make these like with the kids and then hang them up in late December or maybe in December but then leave them up in January I leave my snowman decorations up in January um, I take all my Christmas related stuff down but then I leave all my snowmen up in January and so I thought these would be a great addition to like snowman stuff 
Hi, Iona. So then the last thing I want to share with you guys is um, for my uh, team, my Stampin' Up! team, for those that purchase a starter kit, we are doing a planner gratitude workshop. I'm running a little bit late this month and getting all the content up for everybody. But I always, I take my notes and everything on a separate sheet of paper and then I transfer it in here when I know like everything's working. But I thought I would just walk you through. I just thought I would show a little bit because since I'm getting ready to transfer all my notes in here for last month and then I'm getting ready to film for the following, you know, for this month, I thought I would just show you. So we just do some fun stuff. This is the planner. It's the actual Stampin' Up! planner and it's, you can use it as a planner, but we are using it as a gratitude workshop so we do different things every single month this was one month this was a layout one month where we used some hearts and we talked about some goal setting and different things i saw my photos to add and then we did some habits in august and then in september see i haven't transferred any of my notes in here for september i'm getting ready to do that but we did some stamping and we added some washi tape and glued some pictures pages together so it's just this fun thing that we do and I just need to film all this and get all of my notes transferred in here so I thought while it was sitting here I would show you guys so if you guys are on my team the planner gratitude workshop stuff is coming I promise just been a little bit hard to get everything together okay so um last little update is the Paper Pumpkin Flash Cell. So if you want to get a Paper Pumpkin Kit for $5, that ends today. So if you want to sign up for Paper Pumpkin and get it for $5, you need to do that today. So if you're not sure what to do or you're not sure what Paper Pumpkin is, you can go ahead and um, leave me a comment or shoot me an email and I'm happy to help you guys out by doing that. But today's the last day. So I want to um, make sure you guys realize that. I've had a couple of you message me through Facebook asking me what Paper Pumpkin is and how to sign up and all of that and I've gotten back to you so um, if you're on the fence today's the last day okay so before we dive in and start making our card what I want to do is I'm gonna do a giveaway so I'm gonna give away this stamp set I have one other giveaway from our Facebook lives um, and I I will choose a winner today and then contact you today it's for the cards and the roll of ribbon and then um, I will get back to you today. Uh, I'll choose somebody. So today our giveaway is the stamp set. This is the Warm Hearted Hostess stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set. My favorite image on here is the Merry Christmas. So this is a item that I actually got last night at our creative rally. It was a giveaway for me and I already bought the stamp set. So I thought I would just pass it along to one of you guys. So we'll do this. So in order to make sure you are entered to win, this is just going to be for my Facebook people. So when you're rewatching this, when you're watching the rewind on YouTube, the giveaway will be closed because this won't be on my YouTube channel for several weeks. Um, so if you're watching it on YouTube, the giveaway is closed so this is just for Facebook people that are here today so leave your name like to give me a little shout out a hello so I know that you're here that'll give me you know your name and then I can reply to you if you win and then also if you share the video you get entered to win a second time so share the video I'm really trying to grow my Facebook business page that's what you guys are on right now so I'm really uh, trying hard right now to get that built up I really would like um, to hit a certain number by the end of the year so I have a little goal in mind so I would love it if you guys would share this video um, that helps me out always and then welcome if you're brand new and you're seeing this video welcome to some crafty fun so this will be the giveaway I'm gonna leave it open until Friday so if you're just popping on if you're catching the replay if somebody shares the video and you click on it and you watch it you can still enter as well just go ahead and leave your name and then share the video so we'll leave it open till Friday and then I'll pick somebody okay so let me show you what we're gonna be using today to create because we need to thank you Linda so much um, she said I love your videos um, I am gonna be using this and then let me grab the DSP I'm gonna be using I should have had that before DSP is just designer paper it's funny how we kind of use a little bit of slang and I forget sometimes this is my favorite designer paper 
not ever, but pretty close to ever. I think it's definitely my favorite Christmas paper. I love this paper. I love the plaid. I definitely want to do some things for some home decor stuff. Hey, Debbie, for um, my house for Christmas, I do, um, oh, wait, I got to catch my husband, guys. Hold on. Hey, babe, I need you to take this stuff to the post office. Sorry, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Sorry. It's okay. I have stuff going out to you guys, to customers. So I need that to get in the mail today. Okay, so I definitely, I love plaid for Christmas. So I love, um, I'm getting this year, I'm going to get throw blankets that are this plaid type of color and design for the backs of my couches. So I definitely, that's what I tend to like, this like farmhouse kind of look. And this is festive farmhouse. Um, designer paper so you can see I have a ton of it and I keep like every single scrap that I have and I'm getting ready to place an order for designer paper um, I need a couple different sets and I'm adding two more sets of that paper to my next order um, that's how much I love it so today we're gonna use that designer paper and then are, do you guys think the lighting is okay with no lights on it looks like it's okay I found a couple, Debbie, I found a couple, Debbie asked where am I getting the, my throws from? I found a couple on Amazon and they are the Eddie Bauer brand and they have like that sheepskin type white fluff like on one side and then they're plaid. I'll share it on my Facebook page um, when we get done here. I will leave it in the comments or um, so you can see they're really pretty and they're not too expensive. I have two couches and I was thinking that plaid throw blankets over it would be really pretty. And I'm a blankets gal, like even in the summertime, I tend to have like a little light throw that I always throw over me, you know? So, um, and I was thinking about getting maybe some plaid pillows for the couch. So there's a little update on my holiday decorating. <laughs> So these are the products that I'm going to be using today. So these products are two, this bundle, this is a bundle. It's in the very beginning of the holiday catalog. Let me show you. You guys, I am not prepared today. I have to keep getting up. Okay, so this is in the very beginning part of the holiday catalog. It's actually the first set here, and it's the All is Bright set and then the designer paper that goes with this suite of product is actually this designer paper right here and it's that photographic paper and I do have some projects planned with this I just haven't I haven't got there yet but this product is a product that I probably would not have purchased on my own um I tend to like struggle with knowing what to do with these types of stamp sets. And the reason I ended up with this stamp set is I actually, it was a pillow gift from Alaska. So the Alaska incentive trip um, was this summer with Stampin' Up! And that just means I earned a certain amount of points and I was able to earn the incentive trip. And one of our pillow gifts um, was this. And I didn't go on the trip at the last minute, I couldn't go. but they sent all of my pillow gifts to me and I got this and I, I wasn't disappointed because a gift is a gift, right? And I'm always thankful for a gift, but I was like, I just don't know what to do with this kind of set. And I think it's because I always think or feel like I need to do more. Like I always feel like, well, if I've not stamped a lot of, uh, you know, a, a bunch of images or something that maybe it's not like a good enough card. So we're going to do a really simple one. So the way this is meant to work, or the way it can work, is it has all of these words, which you could use on, on anything. I mean, you don't have to use these two items together, but you can definitely bundle them together to save 10%. And these are just right, really simple um, sentiments. I love that it has blessings. So you could do Christmas blessings, um, holiday wishes, um, holiday blessings, um, 
lots of different ones here, right? And then it has to you from us. And then the great thing about these, and this is definitely what I will probably do. And we can just do it right now. You could cut this so you could do from us for sure but you could cut it and it could just be from and to and the thing I like about these is you can see how big these are can you guys see this so usually you get a stamp set and the to and the from are really tiny because they're meant to be on tags right so they're these really tiny to and from and I'm always like I write the person I write two and I'm already like out of room because my handwriting is bigger so I love that these are a little bit bigger and you could stack these I definitely will probably cut these and it's really easy to cut these I'll just show you guys you don't have to be scared especially the photopolymer because they stretch a little bit so what I do is I just take my paper snips and I turn it over and I stretch it a little bit. So with kind of with this finger I'm holding and then with this finger I'm stretching a little bit. And then I just go in there and I trim that. And now I have those. You can put them together if you want to stamp. But then that's a way to stretch your stamp. So I really encourage you to get comfortable with cutting your stamps. You'll get so much more use out of them. And then see if you want. You can put those together and use them together. But if you don't, you can definitely cut them, okay? So I do that quite a bit. So the way that this it works is these dies, you have the dies, you can cut out the letters. Where's my other little sheet? Here it is. You can cut out these words and then you can pair them together with any of these. And then the die cut has also this, which I love. So it's these little uh, brackets or labels, but these are great too. And so many different uses for these as well, which is why I probably, had I not got this as a gift, I probably would have wanted it. I probably would have wanted the die, but maybe I wouldn't have recognized how amazing the stamp set was. So here's the dies, and the dies say Christmas, holidays, Merry, or is that holidays? or holiday, merry, and then happy, and then it has the die cuts. So let's get started putting together our card. So the colors that coordinate with the festive farmhouse are going to be basic black, Cherry Cobbler, Gray Granite, Mossy Meadow, Very Vanilla, and Whisper White. So this is another reason I love this paper is because I'm very traditional when it comes to Christmas and holidays. I really prefer like red and green for my Christmas projects. And so this is great. The, um, the red is Cherry Cobbler, which is my favorite red we have. And then Mossy Meadow is amazing with it. So that's the color combo. So let me show you these color combos together. And then the I will have a PDF for you guys, of course, and a supply list. Um, I usually try to have that in the description uh, when I start, but I'm running a little bit behind. I was writing a blog post and an email and got a little bit behind. So this is the, the Christmas combo that I really love. The cherry cobbler with the mossy meadow. And then this paper has the gray granite in there and the basic black. So that's great for Christmas. So we have our gray granite card base. So you're just going to take a five and a half, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and you're going to cut it in half at five and a half and then you'll fold this and that will give you a standard a2 size card so then we have some really simple layers and this card you guys is going to be so simple like you're going to be like what how is this so simple okay so we have a piece of cherry cobbler and I've taken off an eighth of an inch. So there is a tiny, tiny border. And I actually think I could take off a tiny sliver more 
and it would look a little bit better. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Yeah, that's better. Well, let's do a tiny bit more. See, I keep, keep chopping, keep chopping. I didn't want quite a quarter of an inch. I didn't want that much of a border. I think this will work. Yeah, so I might have to trim this piece. So let me see now. Since I've, yeah, I'm going to have to. So same thing with this. I just wanted a tiny, tiny border. Usually taking off an eighth of an inch works pretty well. It's okay. Let's just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know what I say. This isn't Hallmark. It's handmade. And just do, do what you want. Like it doesn't have, like there's no rules to any of this. You just do what you like. Right? Okay, so that's good. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just make this flat. This is my favorite design of that whole designer paper. If I could just get like 3,000 pieces of designer paper in that design, I would be happy. Okay. So now what I think I'm going to do is I will pop this piece up, but we'll do that last, I think. We'll just work on this piece really quickly here. So the next thing I have is I have some strips of gold. This is just gold glimmer paper and I've done really tiny strips. I have two of them. And I think I want them, I guess maybe in the middle. And they're a little bit longer because I trimmed down that cardstock, right? So then what I'll do is I'll just add some of this glue, like this liquid glue. I sort of want to use up what's in this container right here so I can open a new one because this one's getting all nasty. Do you see like from it like touching the glue and like then touching the container, it's all gross. And I can't stand the thought of just throwing it away with glue left in it. So I'm trying to use it on everything. And then I can open a new one and I'll feel better. I'm just using my grid mat. It sort of works out that these are a little bit longer because now I can line them up using my grid mat. Okay, so then we'll do this one. This glue, you really don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a really long ways. Okay, so let's use our grid mat again. I'm leaving a little tiny kind of strip in the middle there. And then just flip this over. and trim this. So the other thing I want to mention you guys is um, there is a new host code up. It went up yesterday and my new giveaway for the month, my customer thank you gift, is this guy right here. This is the um, pick your tool, um, new tool in the holiday catalog and we're going to actually use it here in a minute. Um, but it has these cool features for it. it has a couple different tools that you can use um, and you know there's this and um, then it has a nice cover so if you spend $50 with me this month and you use the host code and that's $50 before shipping and tax I will send you one of these as a thank you gift for ordering with me a customer thank you gift and if you've already purchased this I don't want you to feel left out so if you've already purchased it you can just let me know and then I have a adhesive pack that I'll send you it's a snail refill and some dimensionals um, that I'll send your way because I don't want anybody to feel left out if they've already purchased this because this is a great tool. I don't know how I stamped like before I had this what I did because I use it almost every time I stamp. 
Okay, so we have this piece now. So now we're gonna do some stamping. And what I've done is I've cut out the Christmas. So this is the Chris, which isn't it beautiful? And then I'll grab the stamp set. And I'm going to grab the Mary out of here. And what I'm thinking is I'll add a pop of green. So I'll add that mossy meadow to this card. And we have a few other things to do with it. So I'm just going to open up my mossy meadow. And then the great thing is, is it's a photopolymer stamp. So you're going to be able to see through it and it's going to make it easier stamping. So I'm probably going to have my Christmas like maybe right there and then I'll stamp Mary right there. So we'll go ahead and glue this down. It's fairly thin, the paper, so I don't think that it's going to be too big of a problem for stamping over this. Hi Donna from Australia. That's cool. Thanks for joining me. So I'm just doing it right here in the middle because that's the only part that's going to touch the... um. The white so we'll go ahead and attach this I'm doing it kind of towards the bottom that glue will dry clear so no worries if it kind of seeps out and then once you get the word on there you can kind of manipulate it it's very delicate so you're gonna to want to be careful don't be smashing it around um, that looks pretty good I think it's off centered a tiny bit that's okay so then we'll do Mary, and whenever I'm stamping with a new stamp, I just like to double check. Yep, and then, actually that, that scratch paper is something I want to show you guys here at the end. It was from our Monday project. Okay, so then this is just going to go right here. I think this is straight. It's hard when I can't get right over it. Ho oh, ho, that was pretty good. If I do say so myself. And I do. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit not centered, like the word itself, but we're just going to have to go with it, people. We're just going to have to go with it. Okay, so let's use some dimensionals on this part too. And don't even worry, we're not even done yet. You guys know I have to add some bling to this. We have to bling it up a little. Okay. So we'll take these off and we're going to center this right in the middle. I actually really like doing that pop of green. Yeah, I don't know. You know it's bugging me. You guys know. Now it's not straight and it's bugging me. But we're going to go with it. Okay. So now we're going to pop up this part before we go do all the other pretty stuff. Um, and then let's try to use all these pieces. So when you ever, whenever you have dimensionals left, make sure you use up the edges. Don't throw this away. Don't do it. These edges are great when you're popping up a large piece like this. Okay, and then just add these. We're live, so I can't cut any of this out. This is the boring stuff. When Violet was little one time, I came down into my office one morning, and I found these dimensionals stuck everywhere, like stuck all over the floor, all over my desk. Like she had come down here and found the dimensionals. And these are not easy to get up off a wood floor, let me tell you. 
Okay, so now we're going to be here a million years while I peel all of this off. Tammy says, that is a great tip I wouldn't have thought of. Which tip? I missed it. The dimensional tip or... I don't even know. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. Okay. Can't even tell which ones are peeled off. Another great tip that I actually learned from Chris is if you press your nail into the middle of the dimensional, it raises the backing piece up a little bit and it's easier to grab it and peel it off. And I love that tip. But that did not come from me. That came from Chris. I don't get paid enough money to come up with tips like that, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Okay. Almost, guys. Almost. Is that one? Yep. And you actually don't have to peel off all of these. Like, if you probably just peeled off the corners, if I just had done the corners, it probably would have been enough to stick down to the cardstock. But I don't know. I guess it's just a habit. Like, I just, I'm in the habit of peeling all of them off, so I do. Okay, one more. Okay. All right. So now let's put this on the card and it's almost done. Like we're almost done. But of course, I got to add a few other things. Okay. So really that's pretty, right? Super simple. So now what I want to do is I have some stars here. I know they're super tiny. They're right here. And the way that I got these stars is from the star border punch. And I don't know where my border punch is. We have a star one and we have a heart one. We had, they are, they're retired now. But what I did, I love, love the border punch. And so what I did is I took glitter paper and I punched out a bunch of stars and I did it with the heart to like, see here's silver. And I just put them in some containers. Here's black, basic black glitter stars. There, I don't have as many as those. I probably got tired of punching all of them or I've used them. Here's uh, hearts. So they're black glitter hearts. And then, like, here's my gold ones. So then, that way I have them, and I can use them on projects. Um, and then here's some even larger ones. This is in Bermuda Bay, because you guys know how much I love Bermuda Bay. So here's some larger stars, and then some stars from that border punch. Um, but that just makes it easy. I can pull these out and use them. Um, fairly quickly. So what we're going to do for this, uh oh, I have some comments. Iona says, I need to order some full packs of cardstock. Not sure which ones as my storage is not, I can't see the whole comment, is not, I'm assuming she's saying is not a lot. Maybe just get the color family packs so not to outgrow my storage. That's a great idea, Iona. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple dots down here in different places. You guys have been seeing me do this a lot where I'm just sprinkling either sequence or I was using my Nuvo dots for a while to do this kind of, not technique really, but kind of, it's, it's kind of what I like to do. So I just use this little tool. And I go back and then I just press it down with my nail to get it off the, because there's this like sticky putty on the end there. And then you just press it down and it, this makes it so easy. And then if you need more putty, more putty can come out. And the great thing is, is that with this tool, when you originally purchase it, you get an entire refill 
with your with the tool itself so that's great I'm just pressing this down kind of shaping it over the edge there but you can see how helpful this little tool is and I use it most for this guy right here This is something that I use so much. Hey mom, my mom just popped on here. Um, I use this part of it probably the most. Um, I need some larger stars here. I usually, it's probably more helpful if you take the stars out and flip them over then you can just grab them. The only thing is with the glitter, I just wanna keep, try to keep that glitter off that putty. So how many more do I have? A few more. And I probably need like a medium size one. And this is probably a medium size one. So look how easy that is. Okay, so then you put the top back on, which is nice. And then you guys know me, I can never stop. I never can stop adding stuff, but I think I will. So this is our card for today. It's really simple. That cherry cobbler really makes this pop. I don't know that that gray granite. I've used gray granite a lot in the last month. And then I've also used snowflakes quite a bit in the last week. But I just, when something is on my desk and it's working, a color combo is working, or the product I'm loving, I just tend to stick with it. So this would be a great card to mass produce. It would be super simple to do for your holiday card because you could just cut all of the pieces and then um, assemble them. It's, it's pretty easy. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is something we were talking about on our live on Monday. I used the stickles over the coloring and we talked about the... Um, Nouveau dots and then stickles and I just wanted to show you how the stickles looked once it dried It just gives you a little bit of a sparkle, but it definitely raises a little bit Because it um, is that like the glue it's like a glitter glue So it's not like a wink Estella. Here's my gold wink Estella where it's much flatter like the wink Estella is much it dries in your paper and is a flat, has more of a flat feel to it. So just a few people were asking the difference. So I thought I would just show you now that it's dry. So anyways, guys, that's my card for today. Make sure to leave a comment and share the video. I'm giving away this stamp set. And I want to get it out right away to you because it has some Halloween items. So I'm going to pick a winner on Friday and I'm going to send it right out on Friday so that you will get it in time to use it. Um, this is a great stamp set to hang on to. It has New Year's and Christmas. Thanks. Some great images. So thanks guys for hanging out with me today and checking out my projects. I will have a blog post up on my website today with the snowflake cards with these in case you're interested in seeing um, the technique used to make these snowflake cards. Those will be up in about an hour on my website. And then I'll be back here to hang out with you guys on Friday. So thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.